wishing everybody a very happy Vara Mahalakshmi. Vara Mahalakshmi Habba, the Hartika Subhashini. It is one of the most beautiful festivals celebrated in the southern part of India. Vara means to give, keep giving and never expecting anything in return. Vara Lakshmi Vrutha. Vara Mahalakshmi Vrutha is a festival to propitiate the goddess Lakshmi. Varakshmi is one who grants boons, Vara. It is an important puja. Performed by many women in the states of southern India, the Hindu festival going by the name Vara Mahalakshmi Vrita is celebrated on the second Friday or the Friday before the day of the full moon Purnima in the month of Shravana, which corresponds to Gregorian months of July and August. Vara Mahalakshmi Habba, the festival of the Women, we call it, it's a girls' festival. Henmakul, the Habba, they say, Henmakul means girls' festival. And during that festival, the whole of South India, or every man and every temple, they give a Guru Dakshina, but they call it as a present to the, uh, to the people, to the women. But basically, it's a Guru Dakshina to the women by giving them bangles and variety of colors to put it on their forehead and a lot of flowers. That symbolizes the most beautiful part of the women called the nature. Everything includes and in the nature with the bangles on a hand, it chimes the, the chimes of the Japanese and the Chinese. It, when the wind comes, it keeps on creating variety of beautiful music. You don't need a particular instrument. That itself is an instrument. They themselves are instrument. They keep on advertising. They keep on telling, look, I am around. Why are you frightened? Because the Lakshmi itself is powerful to remind the women that they are Lakshmi, that they are Radha, they are the other half of Krishna or more than Krishna. Krishna never takes any decision without sharing with Radha and giving half of that power to Radha to execute that work. So if Krishna does anything, the people have to make sure the other half, Lakshmi, have to agree. Only then, it is like a joint account of the husband and wife, father and mother. Such is the beauty of this Vara Mahalashmi, which created fantastic power that the positive and negative only can create electricity, goes the same. So in Vara Mahalashmi, the, the power to remind the men and other people and all the temples that the women never asked even for a salary, never asked anything in return. Such was that power which kept on giving energy early morning to late night with a smiling face. They keep on cooking the food, taking care of the house, taking care of the children, taking care of the husband, taking care of the land, taking care of the um, pet animals, taking a domesticated animal, taking care of all the relatives. Oh, the power, such is the power which they call it the roar of it thousand men warrior. Here it's a thousand women warrior or million women warrior power instead of one lady, but it all goes like a flower without expression, without show off, with no muscle show, show off, but instead a small figure, it is beauty to remind that there is a power going around. Hence, Vara Mahalakshmi is celebrated once a year to remind Everybody, you are unconscious. Some of you said people are walking with like dead bodies. And here, every day, that ballet in the hand, that is the bangles in the hand or in the chain in the leg, people are thinking that is to make the women a slave, to make the women more feminine, so she is suppressed, so she cannot have an energy. But she knows her power. Every lady and mother knows the power, even though men say that they are very strong. But right in the private rooms, you can see they are touching the feet of the wife and the mother and crying and begging for help. 
begins to be served. If, if the women says, I'm leaving the house, they go running. My uncle is an example. He fights with his wife and he calls the wife's brother. They come in a car and take her. Very next day morning, he's in a house begging her, catching the picture. Power of the Lakshmi. Man is only a shoe off. Others are shoe off. But basically, what a Mahalakshmi is to tell the power of this country is through the women. The moment you neglect, you are at the poverty. You have the suffering. All the diseases come. You look in the house. If the man is not have food in the same plate with the women, he didn't cook food along with the women. He didn't take baths together. He did not discuss. He cannot take orders and throw orders. Before ordering, he gives half the order to her. And together they, they always talk. Together they throw the... That house is called the real family. Because only in that house can the joint family, the new sprouts of the Chiguru, they call it, and the tree can come. And in that Chiguru, in that sprouts, is the beautiful seed which gives the beautiful flowers and the fruits. When that doesn't happen, the tree has got a new value. Neither the roots will go down, neither the tree can stand tall. Maybe the wife is the root and the man is the tree, or the man is the tree and the wife is the root, uh, wife is the tree and the uh, uh, husband is the uh, root. Either way, but go together. That is a remembering, remembering, remembrance to reminding everybody. Please make sure that you would practice the samskriti together. You will not take any decision without the women in the house. Equal opportunity. You cannot tell in the, in the village if the man sit on the chair and the women sit down. No, that house is going to collapse together. Love, together celebrate. And the power of the women, you can know you do not have to beg any country for any money because all the money lies in the women. If it is not that, just let any man tell that he doesn't want to respect his mother. Why he is telling my mother? Because he can see the power from early morning to night without even complaining a bit. She keeps on. One girl, volunteer girl, came to my school and I call her Dumi. <laughs> it's not good to call her Dumi. Means little, she looks a little plump. She said, Guruji, look, when I'm coming out of the house, I sat in the, on the scooter also. My mommy rushed up to the scooter. Said, please, please, one more spoon of this, uh, uh, milk, one spoon of her food, one fruit, please. She'll beg me and make me eat. Can you believe she's not expecting mother? Grown up child, she rushes up to the road and says, Please eat, please eat. Beg me. Is it not God? Is it not nature? So much is the power. Don't think because we give bangles and uh, flowers and different colors to make them more feminine. No, no, no. They are the color of this country, of this house. They are the flowers blooming without the flower and the sweet fragrance. They are the chimes, they are the music in the in the bangles in the hands, which reminds, keeps on reminding you to, to make your energy level batteries charged non-stop. But still, you become unconscious when you don't respect that bangle sound. You have not heard that bangle sound reminding you that a thousand men warriors walking, that you can also be together, we can create beauty and power in this world and bring down hunger and poverty, wipe out more tears and bring down hung hunger. That was the total idea of the Vara Mahalakshmi. Please try to understand. All others is just historical records, let it be. But this is the real truth. And the only truth, direct from the God's mouth. Varam Mahalakshmi Abhadartika Subhashev. Wishing you all a very happy Girls Festival. Varam Mahalakshmi.